All right, Steve Rank File Forge here today. Um, working on another project. Been working on uh, the old parts rig, getting it ready for uh, for summer. It's hoping to have it out sooner, but weather's not my friend. A little bit cooler here. I'm gonna wait a bit. I think it's actually gonna start melting over the next week, so I think it's gonna be good. But it's getting close to getting the old rod out in the road. Um, I guess one thing that I've always wanted to do and I've always seen it is uh, some of the old custom paint jobs and the old rods that they used to have um, would use like a lace paint job or some of the low riders are using it. Um, I'm not a custom painter by any stretch of the imagination. Don't claim to be. But I think I'm going to get my hand at a little bit of a custom, uh, custom paint on this. I'd like to use, uh, get a lace. Uh, table uh, tablecloth. I've actually got one ordered from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks or something. It's cheap. Um, had a pretty cool design. I thought it would look pretty cool. I don't know. I don't have it yet. I should have it here in a couple more days. It's a Friday, so I should have it Sunday, according to things. So if I want to get I want to get this all taped up and ready to go, I'd like to do just the roof, but I'm just gonna do uh, a section. It's like a perimeter of there. Not 100% sure. I'm gonna try figure something that makes sense to me. Um, I guess I have tried some other custom paint in the past. I did uh, did my logos. What I did is I had uh, a print shop make up uh, like a negative stencil. I laid it on there, squared it up. You can actually see some lines where the template was. Came out really good. Painted it with some uh, some kind of uh, an almond paint or something with rust cl uh, trim clad almond colored or whatever. Uh, and then I got some scotch spray pads, took it down. But if you look up nice and close, you'll see there's some spots here where uh, you see the other paint had a drip. But when I put this on here, it made such a really, really cool patina. I um, uh, also did some roses. I uh, figured to get my hand at trying to do that. Again, did a vinyl stencil. Did one on one side, and then I did one on the other side. Both kind of uh, uh, mirrored. It turned out pretty good. And once I put my uh, patina sauce on there, it'll make it look nice and clean. Uh, I did some custom bodywork on this thing, removed the filler door, the filler, and it came out pretty good. Actually, I did the dash. Actually, I didn't. I did some painting already. You know, I did the interior on this, kind of clean it up. I still want to do something for carpet, but I don't know what. Probably going to end up doing some kind of a uh, um, carpet for like a boat or something. I don't know. Maybe just. Uh, but I still got to patch up a couple more holes, which is not a, a big deal. Cut some steel, maybe screw it in or rivet it in. A little bit of silicone in there, seal it up. Um, then I'll cover it all with a carpet or something. But um, I think I'm going to start by cleaning this roof. Uh, a little bit of rust is not bad, but I want to try and get all the, the, the scale off the top. And then, uh, yeah, clean it up. Get it nice and really, really clean. Mark out... Uh, a section that I want done. I'm just gonna do the top. Um, yeah, maybe when I'm done, once I paint on the lace, get it all the way I want it, I'm probably gonna scuff it down, make it fade just like the, the logo did on the door. Um, debating on a flat clear over it, and I don't know how it's gonna look, so I painted one little spot hidden on the truck to kind of see how the clear, flat clear is gonna look. Uh, if it looks any good, maybe I'll coat it. If not, I'm just gonna go wait. Use the patina sauce once the sun comes up a little bit, it warms up a little bit, and uh, give, give it kind of a custom paint job. Um, again, I am not a pro in any shape or form, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Why not? What's it going to do? How bad, is, how bad can it look? Taped up 
marks. I went around, measured it, marked it out to try and get this uh, lace pattern. It's going to be sitting in this area. Um, this is not what I'm going to lay down to paint. This is a, really a guide so I can come along with a pinstripe. And, so I like to get some radius corners around here. I want it to try and look professional. Um, you know I'm not, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm not the guy to do this, but we got more balls and brains, so that's what we're gonna try. But I'm gonna start following all this in the back. I'm happy with the layout. Um, gives you a good idea what I'm looking at doing here. Um, this is all just painter's tape. It's all pretty good shape. Everything's clean. When I went through this after, I felt a little bit of uh, thicker, a little bit of rust here. I'm gonna leave it because when I go to sand it, that's gonna come through and the white paint is gonna just disappear from that. So I think it's uh I think it's a good move on that part, but I don't know. So let's uh let's try. Maybe I should Okay, it was rough go. I, uh, I struggled with it, but I think I got something that looks fairly close. The blue line is what the inside of the blue line is what's going to be the mesh, the lace, I should say. I think it turned out okay for uh, quite the amateur, so I'm going to come by and I'm going to finish taping all this up just with uh, the green tape just to cover all this stuff around it. Um, I think I'm happy with it. I'm happy with uh, sanding, the prep, and everything like that. You don't really need much, just a, just a rat rod, just having fun with it. So I'll tape all this up, get it all ready, mask around the windshield so I'm not going to get paint all over it. Um, when the lace does come in on Sunday, I'm going to lay it out here, tape it up nice, and uh, paint. Dust it, I don't know. I'm going to try it out. Can't guarantee it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, I'll do a little bit of taping, masking, pretty boring stuff, but I'll be ready uh, next time. Oh, well, maybe tomorrow I'll be working at it. Maybe it'll come in early. I don't know. Amazon drivers are pretty good here, but uh, can't count on anything. Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna tape this up and uh, we'll come back the next day. Okay, back at it. My lace arrived for uh, the paint job and it looks beautiful. Um, I've got a lot of extra, so what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, uh, trimming it down. This makes it a lot easier to work with. And then I'm gonna put some pieces of tape to kind of hold it kind of taut so any creases are gone. And once I'm happy with it, I should, uh, should be awesome. Then I can start painting. But, been playing with this and laying it out. I don't know if you can see, but um, I wanted to have the flowers so the stems are here going here. I think I'm gonna slide this up. I kinda like this border here, so I wanna have this border along the back, but I'm not 100% sure. So, but you, this just looks dynamite. All this flowers, they got the stems, so it's going the right direction that I think it should look. Uh, I'm going to put some marks here. I'm going to cut it with a pair of scissors so I don't need it as long. Just easier to work with. And uh, then try and place it. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I think the biggest thing is I'm going to be real picky on uh, layout. I want to make sure the flowers are where they want to be. Like there's a corner here. I'm not really 100% sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try and... told me when I was growing up that I'd be playing with laced tablecloths or with like nuts, but here I am. And I am loving it.
fin I think I finished all the paint. Gonna let it set up before I uh, do anything with the masking or the lace. Um, I think I got it. I think it looks really good. Um, ran the light over there. Still, it's pretty strong smell of paint in here. But uh, gonna let it dry. Go have a coffee. Come back. I don't drink coffee. All right. I think it's dried enough. We're gonna try and. Gently lift some of this tape so I can uh, heal it gently, just in case there's a wet spot that I missed. I want to make sure that I don't ruin this. I think I got it. I think it looks really good. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but you're going to see it right away in the camera. This is unreal. This is unreal. I've always wanted to do a lace paint job, so this is a uh, Pretty fun for me here. Okay. I'm gonna try and peel it nice and slowly across. I think it looks awesome. I'm probably going to end up going with sandpaper and fading it after too, but I wanted to get it to this point. I think it came up really, really good. Um, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let it air dry some more, but I think I hit it out of the park. For a guy who can't do custom paint, I think I just did custom paint. Oh, this looks good, baby. This is going to look nice once I do a little bit of fading on it. Oh, unreal. Let's give it some more time to dry, come back, I'll peel the rest of this stuff off, blow everything down, I can give it a quick little sand, see what we got, uh, see how badass this looks. Right on. Alright, the big reveal. Peel off all the tape off the, the lace and everything. Look at that. Doesn't that look freaking awesome? I'm so happy with all that. Looks unbelievable. All my lines came up really nice. A little bit of leftover tape. I'll clean that up. It came out fantastic. The next step after here is I want to scuff it down. Put a little bit of age into it. Kind of make it look like what I did here with my, uh, my logos. The patina. You see it's kind of worn through. It's the same color paint so it should do a nice uh, match. But uh, look at that. I am excited with that. That looks so good. Okay, let me set up. We're going to start scuffing it. Okay. The roof is looking fantastic. Paint's all dried. I, uh, I let it cure overnight. Um, let it harden up and stuff. But just the more I look at this, the more I'm just loving this. You can see on the, the lace where it was uh, a very thin amount of lace and paint came through and you can see some of the different textures and stuff. Oh, it just looks fantastic. Really happy my lines came out. The curves and stuff, I didn't expect this that nice of a job, but I got lucky once in a while, I guess. But So, I got this is what I'm kind of thinking. I've got some of these uh, Cubitron discs. I've got a 320, a 240, and a 180. So I'm probably gonna start with a 180, um, just to take it down. And once I got it down, I'm gonna follow up with a uh, a very fine scotch brite pad, just kind of smooth it out. Uh, I picked up this little thing at PV Mart, it's uh, just a hand sander, I don't know, instead of pulling out the orbital, it's all Velcro. It's pretty slick, it was in the $10 bin, it was ridiculous. So I'm going to start by scuffing it probably more in the middle and kind of see what it looks like. I don't know, this 180 might be a little too aggressive, but I'm going to find out really quickly. And from there, I'll try the 180, just a light throughout the whole thing. Then we'll go to the 240, then I'll go to the 320. I want to try and take it down slowly. Um, I can always take off more, but I can't put it back on. Um, the paint job's commitment. Um, gotta make it work. So I'm gonna go slow. Okay, let's see what I can do.
So, I've given it a wipe down. I've sanded it. Um, it looks good. I was hoping for a little more aged look. But it keeps gumming up the, the sandpaper and stuff, so. Not sure what I'm gonna do. I may just leave it like this. I really, really, really digging this. This is uh, quite the roof for a uh, non-experienced painter. Very happy with it. Um, now the edges are sharp from the paint, which all nicely blended in. Like I say, I've uh, gone through the sand of the roof. There's a couple other little bumps and stuff, so I smoothed all, all the roof. I'm debating on putting um, a clear coat on it, like a flat clear. I am looking at putting this uh, patina sauce on. Um, should look, it looks good. I like the patina sauce. It's uh, usually lasts about a season. Um, I do recommend it. Bought it out of uh, LS Fabrication out of Edmonton, Alberta. Let's see if I can find this. There it is. This stuff, I'm gonna give her a whirl. I got, uh, I put it on once. I can usually get about two or three coatings out of it. Um, I did spill some after I did the first coating, but um, this looks good. You can see it's all kind of smooth and blended in. Um, I may come back and try and uh, uh, fade it out a bit more, but I kind of like it, so. It's one of those things I think I'm gonna stop at that point. If I think it needs more, I'll give it more. Um, I am probably gonna go over the rest of the truck and uh, get rid of some of this. It's kind of dirty and stuff. Basically come in with a scotch bright pad. Yeah. Get one of these little scotch bright pads and just kind of Take it down a bit, wipe it all down. Try to get rid of some of the... A vent there. Try and get rid of some of the old gunk. There's like, I don't wanna say mold, maybe sap or something that's caught up over the years. Take down any of the high rust. I'm not trying to do too much. Just trying to... See, it kinda shows a nice patina where underneath that. I think it's gonna look fantastic. So I'm gonna stop the roof right there. I think, uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, if you don't think if you don't think it looks good, then you're crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, not everybody's cup of tea, I guess. But I really, really dig it. I've always loved the old lace paint jobs from '60s and uh, whatnot. Man, that looks good. The lines came out really nice. I'm really happy with my lines. You almost think I was a professional painter. Almost. Nope. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here. I think I'm done for tonight. Uh, I think that's it for this video. Um, later, I'll probably go over the process for putting on that patina sauce and making all this look really good. Um, yeah, one of these days we'll get Daryl back in the shop. I think we're gonna try and do some uh, tequila ta taste testing. Uh, we have an idea for that. Maybe that'll go in a, a podcast as well as a video. Uh, I don't know. Stay tuned and we're gonna move on if you found this video interesting uh smash the like subscribe uh turn on the notifications all that deal all that jazz there but uh we're gonna have some more fun with this you know definitely uh recommend subscribing i think we're gonna have some really cool stuff and some projects we're gonna be hitting to the blacksmith shop one of these days get all that figured out tune in